All right, guys, Daddy Owen there with the song Tazama kicking off our show this morning. Kari Bunisana again, this is Full Circle with Joyce. My name is Joyce Omondiwahiga. Always a pleasure to have you join with us. Of course, please do let me know how your week is going. What are you excited about? Perhaps you have some big plans for the weekend. Double two, triple nine is the SMS line. You can also reach us on our Facebook page. That's at Switch TV Kenya. Right now, we want to jump into our first topic for the day, which is what to look for in a man's suit. As I did mention, you know, we're seeing guys quite Instagram, you know, they're really cutting it out. They're really uh, shining, really, with their suits, with how they're dressing up. And we want to be able to share some of those tips with you. Joining me in studio, I have Ashok Sunny, who's the head creative director of Ashok Sunny Tailored. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Very, thank Good you to see you. You're looking dapper. Thank you. Yeah, you know, now in this in this work, you can't look. <laughs> yes, yes, you have true. to look the part. Yeah. It's like going to a hairdresser whose hair is jacked. <laughs> All right, and of course you have Fadil as well, yeah. who's going to be one of your models as well yeah. today. And my partner. And your partner, yes. co-director yeah. at Ashok Sani. Yeah. Yes. Good to have you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. So let's talk about suits. Um, we can even start with weddings because there was a time in this country that gentlemen would show up at weddings in jeans. Like, literally, they've just rolled out of the house. It looks like they were washing the car in the morning. And you're like, ah, <laughs> kuna wedo ya nani wacha um, You know, talk to us about how the style of men um, in Kenya is evolving, if at all it is. Actually, uh, I could say uh, at that time it was our, our fault because in the industry, the industry was very small. Mm -hmm. So the d designers who were there at that time were not maximizing the opportunities that were there. But I think as per now, people are growing and embracing style. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you find these days we have stylists. Stylists who are working. It's a day job. They wake up in the morning, yeah. their work is styling. Yeah. They have clients. Yeah. So people are embracing. That's why at least men are getting into it right now. Mm -hmm. And then opportunities are there for, if you want an outfit, outfit that you want, outfit that you, you like, you like something baseball. You, you have people there who can provide that service to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And um, Fadil, there's this perception that men's things are very expensive so you know how much does it take to look to look good <laughs> as a man <laughs> oh, on, a, on an honest note you for you to look good definitely you have to to have something okay for you to look good you have to look expensive okay yeah you have so, to look expensive but yeah. the items don't have to be expensive yes. right yeah it's the perception it's, it's the, the perception, perception. Yeah. how you style it how yeah. you put it together yeah. Yeah. and of course your grooming and all that yeah. other stuff plays yeah. very deeply yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. so um in terms of like now a man's look what would you say are like the basics the must-haves that every guy watching this right now should really try and and again this is not necessarily about labels but like the things that they should look for items uh, basically, uh, for a well-groomed man, I, uh, I can say to to walk out, to walk into somewhere anywhere, and someone would say this this guy is, has an outstanding look, a blazer, okay, a shirt or a very nice t-shirt or with the cold weather a nice pull neck, very fitting pants, nice fitting, not very fitting, yeah. nice fitting. I was about to say, I was <laughs> <laughs> nice so fitting pants, sure. <laughs> depending on your on your body body size and yeah. posture, and then. Shoes, very nice shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, if if you have a very nice shoe, a very nice watch, mm -hmm. to a compliment, you know, the, you need to work out with the accessories because okay. you can just be plain. Yeah, you invest in something, maybe a, a nice watch, a nice shoe, and uh, uh, some fair, some few pairs of shoes. Okay, then fitting pants, uh, fitting blazer, a nice shirt, depending on the occasion or where you're going. Uh, a fitting t-shirt or a fitting pull neck. Okay. Yeah. So those would be like the basics. Yeah. Now, um, growing up, I guess even the style of suits has evolved, clearly even by how you guys are dressed. <laughs> There's a lot of change that has come through. I mean, back in the day, we'd see a lot of like, your pinstripe really reminds me of one Charles <laughs> Jonja who was very, you know, known even for his dressing. Yeah, yeah. It was part of his brand. Um, but you're wearing like a blue checkered Checked, yeah. um, Checked suit, suit. Yeah. Uh, so talked and then you have an orange I love like your shirt is so different <laughs> usually you'd have just like a plain white plain shirt white or yours black. is like an orange <laughs> shirt with a white collar <laughs> so first of all maybe we can actually you know these guys are also modeling these are suits that you guys yeah. have tailored yeah. 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 so yeah. we True. can actually talk through some of the designs and I, you both have happy socks I don't know if you're getting this <laughs> 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 can you see these socks <laughs> Um, and you'll be telling us about how that sort of either adds or subtracts from a look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe we can start with you, Ashok. Okay. So tell us about your look. Feel free to stand and model it for us. Okay. Um, 
I might even stand with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. you have an orange shirt. Like, yeah. what material is this? Sorry, do you mind? This is cotton. No? Okay. Yeah, this is cotton. Mm -hmm. It's pure cotton. So, uh, to wear an orange shirt and a pinstripe suit, I know the weather is very dull. Yeah. And <laughs> when you go to an office, in a, on a, it's, a, it's a Friday. Mm -hmm. So, if your office does allow you to, to do smart casual, yeah, you yeah. can do the, the normal suit, yeah. but add some color into it, make it pop. It looks nice, yeah. but I feel like you have to be very bold, like very <laughs> no, it's, confident. It's for a simple guy because the black and the pinstripe tone the yeah. orange down yeah. so that you look, you look very nice, very yeah. dapper, but still you're not doing too much. So how do you know how to sort of blend and mix colors? I see here you have a touch of white, yeah. which goes with a touch yeah. of white in your yeah. collar, yeah. and then your pinstripes, you know, kind of reflect that yeah. as well. Yeah. But what's interesting too is your pocket square mm. has touches of orange, but this is like a floral almost african yeah, print it's an ankara print against yeah i, I yeah. love that like you're <laughs> literally colliding two different yes, styles yes 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 mm -hmm. because you have to be creative because i think uh, african men are very conservative yeah so it's up to us to try and show them you can wear this you can wear this and still look very nice mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh that's what i'm trying to bring out that's what you're trying to bring out in our in our in our collections in, in, in our social media, on our website, so that a man can embrace something different and something new. Right, right. Yeah. You talked about a suit fitting well. Yeah. Uh, you can do a little spin <laughs> <laughs> for our audience here. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so especially, like, where are the most mm. central points that, you know, the suit should be fitted? Because obviously, you know, people have different mm. body shapes, yeah. so you're yeah. not always going to be slim fit yeah. or whichever yeah. the one the other yeah. one is. So, but it seemed to me like a if, like, at least the shoulders yeah, yeah. should be very well fitted. Kuna wale wa sema zewa na wanatembea town shoulder pad iko huko. It looks so funny. Yeah, yeah. But I mean for sure then I guess that the shoulders. Yeah, yeah. What about the arms? Uh the sleeves and the the, the width and the length of the sleeves really depend on the size of your body. Okay. If if you're masculine then you have to balance because it usually starts from here. Yeah. If the shoulder buds are not fitted in very well this sleeve will not come out very well. Okay. So that's why we do bespoke. That's okay. why we make outfits for people because we have different body types. Yeah. Not everyone is a, is, is a model, not is, everyone has a six pack. So yeah. we tend to embrace <laughs> everyone. So if, if, if you're big, if you have a bigger body like me, mm -hmm. you can have something that fits you very well, but not very tight. Right. You'll be comfortable in it, you can walk, you can go anywhere. Great. Yeah. So the, sh the shoulders have to be fitting in very well. So shoulder pads and the padding here okay. very has important. to work very, very well. All right. Yeah. Father, uh, let me bring you up here now. Oh, thank you. you can tell us about your look. Thanks, Ashok. Um, so tell us about your look and what you're wearing here. So I feel like fixing oh, So thank I'm a little OCD. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. This is a, a blue checked suit uh -huh. uh, mostly it's for corporates like okay. let's say for example you have a meeting and you don't and you don't want to wear the normal you can also wear this when you want to you, you want to go from the normal mm -hmm. this is what you can put on okay yeah okay and the same principles apply here as far yeah, as so true. the you know fitting at the shoulders yes. the other thing was the length of the arms because there's some guys who it's it's it seems quite short or too long no that's pref the where that should it hit it should hit when wearing a watch it shouldn't like cover the watch oh hey, yeah. when I take a so bling that's bling, it show through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the normal length that's supposed to be okay for the, the other thing that really bugs me is about ties yeah and how let me point you this way so you can see very well but like also the ties mm -hmm. um and and where the tie falls because it's supposed to like hit right above your belt or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know how to tie a tie, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know these things. <laughs> but it's supposed to hit right at your belt. Okay, about ties. I'm not a tie guy. <laughs> He's the one who made me put on this Oh, tie. he made <laughs> you put on the tie even this morning. <laughs> yeah, this morning. Okay, so tell yeah, us about ties the then. Uh, usually the length usually depends on... Uh, if it's a slim tie, it can be a bit longer. Okay. But if it's a, it's, it's a very thick wide tie, the, wide yeah. tie... It can just has to be above the belt, just, just exactly the belt. where the belt is. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then you guys were talking about the trousers needing to be, you know, well fitting. Yeah. Yeah. So at least you're moving away from the days of Vijanakova trousers yeah. in Africa, <laughs> or Beautiful. the super super baggy <laughs> so pants. True. But I mean, don't you feel like some men can kind of feel very self conscious about having a very form fitting pant? You're not scared like you'll sit down and then just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the guys yeah. are actually, because that's the thing because most of the guys are self-conscious. Yeah. So the thing is, uh, we, that's, that's the good thing about bespoke. Mm -hmm. yeah. We fit you 
depending on your body size and your preference. Yeah. That's the thing. So if, if you don't like a very fit thing, we have a straight fit. Mm -hmm. So it usually depends on what you like and uh, what you're comfortable in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I understand. <coughs> Do you Thank, have you. Thank you. Thank you. I understand we have another model. Yeah. Um, so he can come in right now. Mm. Wow. Super dapper. Nice. Oh, and he's rocking the no socks look, yeah, yeah, yeah. which a lot of people are trying to pull off nowadays, <laughs> some of them not very successfully. <laughs> but tell us about this no sock look no. and which type of shoes you can do with the no sock look. Because I feel, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can do with tassels, loafers and moccasins. Okay. But now if you do a no socks, the pants have to be very, very fitting. You see, like for him, yeah. the pants have to be very, very fitting mm -hmm. and they have to be above. I just at the ankle where the ankle is okay so that it doesn't go over the shoe so okay, if, if it yeah. covers the shoe now you, you the whole idea is lost mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now this is a kind of a look because of the weather it's very cold yeah especially in the mornings mm -hmm. so we have an overcoat over him mm -hmm. and then if 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 you if you're going for a formal dinner something very formal or a casual friday mm -hmm. uh, you can do this look with a tie if you're going, if you're going for a normal dinner, a brunch, uh, uh, a, 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 an informal meeting, you remove the tie, you just do the shirt and the, and the suit and the overcoat, mm -hmm. just to look very simple, because mm -hmm. you don't want to overdo it if it's not something very formal. Yeah. yeah. Feel free to turn around and model it around for us. Um, so again, just there, a nice coat. Yeah. Um, here you've matched the tie and the pocket square, yeah, yeah. whereas with what you're wearing, mm. even with you, oh, Fadil, yeah. it's not. So yeah. is there like a science behind this or is it just kind of how one feels or how do you sort of go about, especially color blocking um, for a guy that's not, you know, overpowering or overwhelming? Yeah. You see, like for Fadil, he's do because the, the suit is a raw blue yeah. checked suit, mm -hmm. so it's it's popping. Mm -hmm. So you have to come something subtle in between. Like white, neutralize uh, it. Yeah, you neutralize the color. Yes. So white and black. Mm -hmm. and the pockets go to neutralize the blue. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm doing an orange side. So I'll do a, a subtle tie to bring down the, the orange right. from the suit, yeah. Right. Then I, I, I put the white on the blazer because it's black to make it pop a little bit so that it can complement whatever I'm wearing okay. inside, yeah. Okay, and so for him, um, he's wearing the same, you know, tie and pocket yeah. square. Yeah. Um, could he have done a different pocket square or a different tie even yeah. on this suit? Yeah, depending on what you have in your wardrobe, uh, you can just do, uh, if it's a floral tie, you do a subtle pocket square, you can do a white, maybe maybe something that works with a shirt, something that's very subtle, because the, the tie is, is floral, so it's very busy. So right. you do something subtle. Right. Yeah. What about, there was a point that there was a trend for those two flowers. Uh, are they called boutonnieres? Uh, no. Boutonnieres, but lapel flowers. Lapel, lapel, lapel flowers, flowers. Yeah, lapel flowers. Um, is that still on trend? Was it just a fad? And then those to do the two chains. Kulikuwa kahuk na kakitu hapa. It looked nice, yeah, but yeah, was yeah. it just a fad or is that something that's more classic? That's something that was trending way back. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, most of the people just do the pocket square and the tie. Yeah, that's yeah. very timeless, yeah. isn't it? And then what I came to realize is that uh, people are overdoing it. Yeah. Because now so you're doing a tie, you're doing a, you're doing a, a lapel flower, a yeah. pin, then you're doing a pocket square. You're overdoing it because the chain is hanging from somewhere. If, if, if you're wearing all of that and you want to wear a pocket square, you do a subtle pocket square, a strip, mm -hmm. just do a strip here. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very subtle. Mm -hmm. But now, if you're, going to, if, you're going to, if you're going to work, you're going to a meeting, you work in a bank, you can't yeah. do all of that. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you, 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 are, you are representing a certain brand. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think uh, the look became, uh, now it's dying down because people are realizing that it's overdoing whatever you want. And then matching it, m most of the problem is for guys, matching it, what to wear, what to wear, when, and when, when to wear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you to our model. Thank you so much. And um, again, just as we close, for those who are not looking to do, you know, the full shebang, right? They they don't feel like wearing an orange shirt today. <laughs> they don't want to wear a blue checkered suit. <laughs> How do they sort of look good in a very toned down way? Like for the weekend, for example. Do you to una shine during the week? I love weekend, maze choma picha. No, at the end of the day, it comes down to your style and your personality. Because I think if it's a weekend. There's a, we can just do a subtle pull neck, a nice blazer, fitting khaki, fitting jeans, yeah. nice sneakers, 
nice loafers, nice moccasins. Usually depends with your style and personality okay. and wh what you want to achieve. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for thank coming. Uh, here from Ashok Sunny much. Tailored. Good to see you here. Thank, thank you. you for sharing your style tips with us. Very valuable. I'm sure a lot of gentlemen here today have looked uh, or found something. Atakam nenda ka date night. Leo You can impress your date. With that said, we're going to take a short break. But when we come back, we're going to be diving into some more style and culture topics right here on Full Circle with Joyce. Stay tuned.